You're listening to The Right Club Podcast, where the focus is all about helping you grow your real estate investment portfolio and live the life you want to live. Come grow with us and join our community at therightclub.com. And now your hosts, Sarah Larby and Alfonso Salemi. And I think that's just to the point, right? Whether that's your forever cottage or not, or one you just leverage and take out more money and buy another one, you're in the market, right? And I... I took so long to get my cottage and it took, like I saw it just appreciating in front of my eyes, right? Like I was miss, not like missing out on that appreciation in front of my eyes. And I said, I just got to get in, right? And so I took that same mindset into Florida. It's like, just get in. It doesn't have to be my dream place or the place where I'm going to be forever, but it's going to learn. I'm going to learn. I'm going to get knowledge from it. And then I'm going to build equity because it's real estate. The mortgage is going to go down. I'm going to get some appreciation. So I love it. That That is awesome. And you're pretty close to Cape Canaveral too, right? Because that's where the mission rocket is going to get launched one day, right? We'll let Elon get there, touchdown first, so it's all safe. And then, yeah. then we're jumping on the mission 35 rocket to uh, to space, uh, right? Very close. <laughs> I, I have love to throw it. that in. I love, I love it. it. I love it. So, but uh, no, that, that's amazing. So many, so many good things. Uh, like you said, getting in the market earlier, whether it's your cottages, your U.S. property, that passion. I love that thing. I wrote that down. Get your retirement home now um, and, and get into the market that you that you want to eventually live in long term. And yeah, like Sarah said, you know what? That, that's, I think, why they put Valentine's Day in February to make everybody love it because it's so cold or uh, I don't know why. But anyway, so uh, you know what, Brian? We've gotten to the part of the podcast where it's going to be our lightning round. So uh, are you, I think we've done the lightning round with you already. So maybe sometimes questions, answers, they change, but uh, are you ready for the lightning round? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, ready. Brian, here we go. Question number one, what is the best advice that you have ever received from another investor or at a networking event? Probably be uh, progress over perfection, move forward, just move forward. You know, I've had a manager say that before and it was actually through work, but it was just move forward. The sooner that you can focus and face the problem, the sooner the solution comes. So just focus on the, fo not focus on the problem, but just like deal with it. Whatever's in front of you, deal with it and move on to the next one. It's not as bad as you think it is. It's only as bad as you think it is until you stop thinking about it. So just move on to the next one. Love it. Love it. Great advice. Great advice. So, you know, besides yourself and jumping full on in and being, being the resource and learning about all the, you know, U.S. and, and multi-unit, what is your favorite resource for real estate investing? And that could be anything, a book, a training, a uh, person, an event. What, what's, what's your biggest or favorite resource, I should say? Honestly, I love YouTube. Like I, I go on YouTube and I end up like when I work out in the morning, I'm like religious 6.30 a.m. I'm on my elliptical and doing that. And it's just like whatever I'm thinking about, I'll type it in and I'll watch it. You know, if I'm, you know, thinking about multifamily, watch it. If I'm thinking about cash flow, I'll watch it. And it's just there's always a nugget in everything that you watch and learn. There's always a nugget. And I think it's like, you know, the moment you think you know everything is when you're dead. Like, or when you're going to start declining, because I've even felt myself getting that mindset, like, Ooh, I know that I know that. But the reality is, is you, there's, there's way more that you don't know than you do know. So, and YouTube's great for that. It's nice. It's easy. And it's just, sometimes I don't even know what I'm looking to learn, but I'll just type something in and play it for 20 minutes. Right. And just seek to grab something out of it. That's great. And, and things change all the time, right? New rules, new regulations, new information. So even if you're an expert in one field, you know, in a year, lots of things change, uh, even from a real estate perspective. So um, awesome. Number three, what is the one attribute that has made you most successful? I'm going to say my stupidity, probably. <laughs> so <it's> just like... <laughs> Uh, well, I would say that, uh, you know, jokingly, but in the sense that like, I don't, I'll, I'll take immediate actions on things, no matter what it is. I'm, I'm really, really good at taking an action that will cause another action, right? Like, um, you know, whatever it is, if I think that like Florida, okay, send an email to a realtor, right? Get them to send something back to me. Like anything that I cause action that will create a reaction will create forward momentum for me. And I think for my success in real estate and the business is just always doing something immediately. Like I, uh, 
we we did an event. You guys were part of it when we had a, um, a Josh Altman down, like a real estate guy from uh, LA once. And it started just for me and my wife having a glass of wine, watching that show, being like, we should bring that guy here. I'm like, yeah, we should. So I sent him an email. I Googled him and sent him an email, right? And it's just like, it starts by as crazy as your idea is, just do something in that moment immediately that will cause a reaction to create forward momentum. So yeah. that's what it is for me. Yeah, I love that. That that And that was an awesome event. That was like a red carpet, like full on event. And that's kind of cool from just having a glass of wine, watching the show that turned into that, that amazing event that, you know, there was professionals from across the industry, like top players, like, you know, it, it was, it was a great, great event. So there you go. Take, take that action and, and get involved. I love that. And, and, uh, and you are so humble too. That, that, that's the other part. I want to make sure that you put that in there too. You, you are, you are a humble dude, man. Um, all right. So last question of the lightning round. And uh, the question is, what do you typically do on a Sunday morning? And it's not jogging around in an Elmo suit. But what's your typical Sunday morning look like? <laughs> uh, so I, I, a typical Sunday morning is I wake up to mom, dad, mom, dad, I have to pee. I got a four-year-old that just like is like a rooster. So she gets up and then I'll make her eggs or pancakes or something in the morning. And then we go for a little hike. I've got little stairs by my house. And whether it's freezing cold or whether it's warm or whatever we do, we grab bites to eat and then we go up and I try to, cause she gets up at 5.30, like she's not, she gets up at 5.30. And I try to like, we try to catch the sunrise. We try to catch the sunrise at the top overlooking uh, the escarpment there. I'll bring some hot chocolate and some goldfish, you know? If you haven't tried goldfish, highly recommend them. They're amazing, nutritious snack, good for any occasion. Um, <laughs> And do that, you know, and it's like, uh, it's just such a wicked start. And it's Sunday's always my family day. Like it's, uh, and real estate investment has been able to help us do that. Is Sunday is always my family day. And it's uh, with Lila in the morning. Best That's part of awesome. my week. That's awesome. Yeah. So it sounds fun. And there's probably not a lot of people up that early on a Sunday morning. So you get the, basically the place to yourself in the silence. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's a little, yeah. It's true. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Brian, where can our right club community reach out and uh, know more about you? Uh, you can uh, call us at the office 905-574-5255, Mission 35 Mortgages. Just Google us, check out our reviews, uh, find us on Instagram at Mission 35 Mortgages or on Facebook and uh, just send us a message. We're dying to help. We care. We, we want to help any way we can get you to where you want to go. So... Yeah, for sure, Brian. And, and thank you for being so generous with your time. If you haven't, Brian has been in another Right Club podcast. He's been on several of our right experiences in our webinars. So get onto the to the, uh, the rightclub.com. Look for Brian's so much information and, and reach out. Brian, any last words of advice or tips that you want to share with the, the Right Club community? Yeah, just, you know what? Keep listening to the Right Club. Like no matter what, like and uh, Alfonso, Sarah, I hold my uh, hand up to you guys you guys did a wicked job of pivoting you know what when you guys had your events which I missed to give you a hug Alfonso and Sarah you know but when you guys change and I think it's a testament to what real estate investors have to do you never know what you're going to face but to have your AA meeting like your right club meeting um, it fuels you up and it keeps you going because there is it and there's a tremendous amount of shit out there today and the news and in the world that what you guys provide for people is very refreshing from a mental state but in addition it provides hope you know what it provides hope for a future and in a future where sometimes people don't see it so really like stay connected to this stuff and if you start to think you know everything just punch yourself in the face because you don't you know and go to another meeting and go to another one Thanks for listening to The Right Club Podcast and joining our community of real estate investors online at therightclub.com, where the focus is about helping you grow. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks from your hosts, Sarah Larby and Alfonso Salemi.